absolutely nothing here. I'm the only one here. I'm the only person here in John O'Groats. Is this the most northerly dumped car? There's no plates on it, it's got a flat tyre. And when I looked on the map, I thought, oh my God, there's nothing there. I don't know if it's worth bothering going because there's nothing. You know, there's no McDonald's. I mean, what are we supposed to do? We haven't even got a McDonald's here in John O'Groats. And this is how much it costs to park here. Three groats. Welcome to another video for Walk on the Wild Side and today I'm in a bit of a special place here in the UK. I happen to be in one of the most northerly points of mainland Great Britain. I'm in John O'Groats. Well, if you're used to my channel, you know that I'm from Blackpool and it feels as though I couldn't be much further away than Blackpool. And where I am now here in John O'Groats, famous along with Land's End for being the two places, Land's End, John O'Groats, of course, that are the most distance apart in mainland Great Britain. And I did mention as well that uh, it's one of the most northerly points. It's not the most northerly. There's another point a little bit further along from here. So what I thought I'd do while I'm here in John O'Groats, I just had to come up here while I was I was visiting Inverness and I thought, oh, yeah, I'm so close to John O'Groats. I've always wanted to go just to say that I've been there, you know, and that's why I'm here. So I thought I'd show you around. And uh, as you can see, um, it's pretty quiet. <laughs> look at this. We've got a massive car park here. In, in fact, there's a car there. Look, there's a car here that uh, looks a bit sus what do you think? Looks a bit suspect. I wonder if this car has been dumped. Is this the most northerly dumped car? There's no plates on it, it's got a flat tyre. Nice looking car actually. Audi A3, what do you think folks? There you go. It's all a little bit suspicious here at John O'Groats. Anyway, let's take a look around here, shall we? We come into the car park over there, that's where I started. And just up here, it looks like we've got a distillery. Look, it says there, Doors Distillery. How about that, eh? Quite modern, that, isn't it? Yeah, there's plenty of distilleries up here in Scotland. I've been on a bit of a road trip. Uh, I originally came up for the Aurora. I wanted to catch the Aurora and I went up to Glencoe. I came off on Monday. It's now Wednesday as I'm filming this, Wednesday morning. It's only about half past eight. No wonder it's dead. First of March. But there's quite a few places around here where you can get something to eat. And I'm sure that uh, if you come here in the summer, it'll be probably bustling around here. So I thought I'd give you a little tour around here. We'll have a look around. We'll have a look over there later and we'll have a look. We can see the Orkney Islands over there, look. I'll tell you what, there's a bit more to this place than I thought, you know. When I looked on the map, I thought, oh my God, there's nothing there. I don't know if it's worth bothering going because I was looking at it on the maps and I thought, there's nothing. There's you know, there's no McDonald's. I mean, what are we supposed to do? They haven't even got a McDonald's here in John O'Groats. Look at this place here, like a little precinct here. Some shops here. There's lots of um, ferries and, and boat tours you can get. Look at that there. Day tours of the Orkney Islands there. Look. Pentland, that's an island that's just off the, uh, just off here. See puffins, seals, look, these are the Orkneys here. These are just off that, we'll see those in a minute. The Orkney Islands, yeah. Gift shops, some of them are empty. There's one that's empty there, look, that's empty. This one looks like it's empty. Gift store there, souvenirs. Another one here. So we'll head back out there. We'll head towards the shore and we'll take, check out the signs, shall we? Yeah, so the only reason why I'm here is because I came up to Scotland originally chasing the Aurora because we had some amazing Aurora displays in the UK 
uh, just at the weekend and on Monday night as well, but unfortunately it was too cloudy. So I'd come all the way up to Scotland and then I thought, well, I'm not going to go back home. I want to explore a little bit while I'm here because it was a long journey up here. So that's how I found myself here in John O'Groats. Anyway, let's have a look down, down by the shore and we'll check out that sign, shall we? Land's End, New York, all that. That's the one that you have to have your photograph taken with. Let's check it out, shall we? Okay, so that's where I just was up there. They've got another gift shop there, Grotey Bucky gift shop. Toilets here. And we're just at the tourist information now. And this is how much it costs to park here. Three groats. And by the way, groats is nothing to do with money, I've heard. In fact, I think groat came from a Dutch name, John de Groot, Jan de the Groot or something like that. That's where the Groot name comes from. So it's nothing to do with money. So there you go. It's actually a fog on this, yeah. A fog on that was rescued from Duncan Sea Head Lighthouse, yeah. Look at that. I'll tell you what, it's a bit echoey in here. Look at that, a fog on. I've never actually seen a fog on like up close like that before so that's what a foghorn looks like folks that looks absolutely amazing i'll tell you what it must be scary when that thing goes off but there it is there it's the foghorn that was rescued from duncan's behead lighthouse in 2000 it was rescued by a local businessman otherwise it could have gone for scrap or something like that but there's a bit of history on here if you want to freeze it and read any of this now i'll let you you can do that there there's a story of john O'Groats there I'll tell you what, it's a bit bleak up here, folks, but centre of the screen now, I believe that's Dunnett Head, the most northerly point of mainland Great Britain there, yeah. But anyway, this is the Pentland Firth, and that island over there is called Stroma. It's the closest island to here, yeah, and uh, this stretch of water is really, really dangerous. Yeah, there's undercurrents, there's rocks, there's all sorts of things. There must be loads of shipwrecks as they try to navigate through here. Look, there's houses on that island over there. Imagine living on there. Wow. We're right down now by the, the shore. And look at this here. Look at these rocks here. I tell you what, it's be a bit treacherous for boats around here. But yeah, just look at that view out there towards the Orkneys. I don't think we can see the Shetland folks, I think they're well beyond the horizon from here. But there you go, this is how it looks from John O'Groats in Scotland. I tell you what, can you imagine being stood next to this thing when it goes off? Oh my goodness, I think you'd be having heart attacks, wouldn't you? Anyway, that was my video from here in John O'Groats in Scotland. Almost the most northerly point of the UK mainland, but that goes to Dunnett Head, which is just up there. I'm going to be heading over there after here because there's actually nothing here. I'm the only one here. In fact, I'm the only person, or I seem to be the only person here in John O'Groats at the moment. So I want to head over to Dunnett Head and then I can say that I've been to the most northerly point of the UK because I've also been to the most southerly point, which is Lizard Point in Cornwall. So there you go from John O'Groats. I will say I hope you like this video and if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I will see you again on the next one.